Robinson here and today I'm going to do a quick video about all the secret little products I use that turn my face painting from probably fairly average to hopefully really really nice. Um, obviously you can practice and practice is always going to be the main thing with face painting um, but I have got a little selection of 9 or 10 things here that over the years I found out really um, not only save time, which is important when you're doing your line work, um, but also um, just really make your designs look crisp and stand out and a bit different. And they're the ones that the mums always say like, oh, they look so good, they look amazing. Um, so I'm just gonna get going uh, and I'll put a link to everything down below in the description box. Um, so the first thing I thought we could look at or talk about is the paint. So I'll start with my white. I use DFX white. Um, also before I start, I should say, um, I've not prettied anything up for the camera. This is all just out of my kit. <laughs> um, so if you're like, why hasn't it got a lid on? It's cause I actually do use it all. Um, so this is my DFX white. Um, I use this for all my line work. Um, it gives beautiful teardrops. It's really crisp. It's really white. It stays on. Um, it's for me, it's the absolute perfect texture and I can't imagine anything better. But once I discovered this, I bought a few, but once I discovered this, amazing, the line work, fantastic. Um, which brings me on to another white I use. So I do use two whites. There is a difference. Um, I used to, well, I started off trying to use DFX white for everything, but it, it, in effect, it doesn't, it doesn't work. The second white I use, um, this is a bumper top of it, is um, Snazaru white. I know a lot of people don't get on with Snaz. Um, I was one of those for a long time that was like, I'm never using Snazaru. White is the only exception. It's um, it's the perfect consistency for your bases, but also um, I find that um, when I use stencils, I'll almost always do my stencils in white 99% of the time. And this is the perfect one. It's kind of um, like chalky enough, I would say. It's, it, do it doesn't get too wet. Um, and that is so valuable for things like that. So once I found this, it's an absolute dream. And it's also buildable too. So if you want it really white, if you want a really white background, you can go over it again. Um, don't be put off that it's Nazaru. Um, for bases and for stencils, 100%. This is my my dream. This is perfect. So you've got your DFX white and your Snaz white. And then the black that I have found for line work. So I never really do any bases with black. I just think it's wrong to have any designs where you're doing massive bases of white, of black, sorry, um, is I use Chameleon, Chameleon Black. Um, it's called Strong Black. Um, I love it. Again, similar to DFX, it's for black, it's the perfect kind of, consistency to to do like fantastic tiger stripes um if you're using black with a really fine brush to do say like superheroes or robots and things to make things stand out it's perfect um i found lots of others were quite um they'd like be gloopy and not pigmented enough chameleon is your paint it's fantastic um and I'll add in the last lot of paints I use. So I do use a lot of one strokes. My my work is very one stroke um, based just for speed. Um, and usually I don't buy palettes. However, I found um, Leanne's um, Tropical Palette. I'm going to show it to you because it is, it changed my world. I've even run out of one here. Like I said, this is actually my kit. This is, nothing's been sponsored, nothing's been sent to me. This is my actual kit that I work on. So I need to get some more. So in there is usually a rainbow. And you can see, oh my God, they are gorgeous. They're beautiful colours. Global does seem to go on really well anyway. Um, it doesn't say the colours on here, but otherwise I'd list them. I know she sells this one, which is called Flower Fairy separately. The rainbow, I think she sells separately and possibly this one. Can't remember though. But as palettes go, this is 
I will buy this palette time and time again. Um, I've done a teeny weeny. I was doing a little bit of colouring as well, so ignore that. I've done a little tiny swatch look. Um, and as you can see, hopefully, um, the lights right there, they all are just fantastic. The reason I don't like palettes is because you quite often waste one. There's always one or two that no one chooses. That one, every single little girl loves them. They make any design pop. Um, I can't recommend that palette enough. It will take your face painting from pretty good to really, really, really good just with the colours. And that's the only palette that I can say that about. Um, on to brushes. These are, remember, these are all my secrets. Like, obviously, I've got loads, but these are all the secret things that I found over the last year. So, um, first one is a pink tip. Now, these are from the face painting shop. Um, people do harp on about them, all of them, all the different ones. And I do like them. I really like them. Um, always like them. But this one in particular is a Flora number no. 8. Um, so I do that thing that all, uh, all YouTubers do. But that's about the shape of it. That's about the size of it. This brush is absolutely spot on for your flowers, um, double dipped flowers, um, and kind of swirly teardrops. Absolutely perfect. I've done actually a few, a few here. Now, bear in mind, like that, I'm not saying that's particularly good, um, but I've literally not used any drawing ability. I have pressed the brush down on almost every on every single one of those there and you still get decent flowers um the size is right the grip's nice they're not too expensive um but yeah flora number eight love it and it's it's just sped me up so quickly and um, also like teardrops for um princess crowns things like that it's easy to double dip with just get two colors on your brush amazing um and this is kind of well it's it's not about the exact brush, it kind of is about the exact brushes. But uh, mainly what I want to say about these two, so first of all, get them, they're fab. I don't even know if these have numbers on them. Might be a number one. Mm, that was a three quarter, 19 millimeter. But you get these, these brushes, you get them in sets. Now I got these from the range. Um, they're really cheap, but, they are so, so good. And normally when you buy paint brushes for face painting that aren't actual face painting brushes, like all the wood chips and stuff, because they're not made for just the level of constant wetness. Um, these are plastic, so you don't get that. They're, they're like the perfect um, weight, um, really nice little rubber grip. And I absolutely love them. Like I said, they are really cheap. They're like... I think a whole set was like 2 99 something like that. Um, they're really, really good. Um, but these two I picked out in particular to show you. Um, this is the three quarter inch. Um, again, I use it for all my one strokes. They're flat. Um, some people might like angled, but I honestly get much better results from using a flat brush for my one strokes. Really like that one. And the next one is this one. It's just a really tiny, you can see, really tiny um, just liner brush. Um, but because the, because the brush is the right weight, I find, it's so much easier to do your flicks and your flourishes and all of that with. Um, but I, re I really like this one and I really like this brand. From what I'm reading on here, it is a Crafter's Choice Royal and Langnickel. They only get them in different colours as well. They're really good. Definitely get them. Um, so I've nearly finished now. Um, but like I said, remember, these are like my secret things. Um, I've got a much bigger kit, but these are the things that really like take it to the next level. Um, <clears throat> I use American Cosmic Glitter, Cosmetic Glitter. Um, it's American Body Art. Um, again, I think I got this from the, um, the face painting shop. But use Iridescent Glitter. There's iridescent or white glitter. Um, people make the mistake of buying like silver glitter. I don't really know why. Iridescent will look a thousand times better on any face that you do, boy or girl. Um, trust me, iridescent glitter, to be honest, it doesn't actually 
the make doesn't really matter but iridescent glitter it's like white it's really clear it just looks so much better it fits any design really recommend it and then lastly the last thing i can i can think of to show you um that really take my designs to the next level as i keep saying are stencils now i actually don't believe in using stencils all the time like i've seen tiger stripe stencils and stuff like learn to draw tiger stripes properly don't don't just use a stencil for them like don't i don't i don't like that and hearts as well you need to learn if you're going to be a face painter you need to learn how to do them freehand flowers it's part of the art there are a few um exceptions to that rule um the main ones i use um is um a oh i should have done this differently shouldn't i um snowflakes this is by bam oh tap sorry and so that's snowflakes for anything Christmassy, anything Elsa-ish, sort of. Amazing. Um, leopard, not leopard print, what am I on about? Um, what is it? Lizard skin. Lizard skin, dinosaurs, anything. Honestly, you chuck it on and it's, it's per oh look, I'll do it over my top. Um, just just whack the stencil on immediately and um, these bigger ones are by BAM um, they're quite expensive actually but I've just recently discovered that size um, one they're a lot cheaper and do exactly the same job and these are their tap and then the two other ones I use um, loads and loads is uh, this one it's like a meshy dot one um, I use it for like all superheroes anything futuristic like ish um robots um power rangers anything like that with white it will really um really does make it pop and you can never do that with your hand you could never even do that on paper by hand um it's just perfect and lastly stars um again they help any kind of like princessy thing um quite good at superheroes as well actually um but literally, and that one is just sort of an independent-y one that I got online somewhere. So it doesn't matter where you get them from. Um, but yeah, that's it really. Um, so a few brushes there for you to have a look at. A few paints for you there to have a look at if you're yet to discover your favourite white and black, which I think every face painter needs to. Um, gorge gorgeous palette. Definitely, definitely try it. Um, make sure you use iridescent glitter and if you're looking for some new brushes definitely try these ones out um, I hope this has been really helpful if anybody wants any uh, more questions answered on face painting I could talk for days about it so any particular tutorials anything any questions anything like that please do let me know right down below um, I would love it if you give the video a thumbs up or um, even better, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do plenty more face painting videos. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching.